Hello, it's Alan here with um, the worst advice I've received lately about the tarot. And it's on um, the Celtic Cross, the second position. I, um, I'm going to talk about that. What made me mad and made me think is that I heard it was always read upright. Always. First, when you hear always, that's a no good. I mean, you know, I never want to hear always about anything because always isn't a word in my, you know, nothing's always. So she said, uh, always read the second position, what crosses us, what crosses you uh, upright. And, you know, and she had an argument for that and cited things and I've looked them up and she's correct. There, there's things that say, yeah, you should always read that up. Right. I say, why? Why limit yourself to that? I, I have a system where you can read it both ways. Come back for that. Okay, great. Welcome back. So I shuffled and I have Celtic cross spread laid out. What I'm talking about primarily here is the second position. So I haven't looked at any of these. It's going to be a surprise. Let's see the first and second positions. First position is uh, the Ace of Wands. <sighs> um, means power to me. So the, the question is about power and um, my um, the control of power. I think of willpower. There's two kinds of will, willpower and free will. Second card was, uh, what, crossing was this way. The chariot reversed. Now, this is what I go on. I don't go on, it's always upright. I go on, if it's left, it's reversed. If it's right, it would be upright. I mean, how hard is that to remember? It's not hard at all. It's not always upright. I mean, if it's that way, then it'd be reversed. So it is reversed. So this is, uh, like I said, a question of my personal power and how I I don't have reins on it. I don't have control. I don't have hands on. See how the chariot doesn't have any hands on the sphinx, on the horses? He's, he's hands off. So I need to be more hands on. Um. So that would have been totally different if it's you always read it up, wouldn't it? Yeah. So let's think about that for a second. Uh, that would have been a totally different. These are important cards, people, for the Celtic cross. These cards stem into number nine. You read those together. And um, so let's finish out the reading. Might as well, huh? My it's my power and my lack of control on on the reins, and that is so true to my situation right now. I can't tell you. Um, should I tell you? I don't know if I will or not. What's really going on? I read the three. I read the Elden Gray way, not the weight way. Weight reads three up here, three, four, five, six. I read three, four, five, six. Elden Gray way. So we have what's really going on three. Okay, another major arcana key. 18, or 18, 17, the star. I love the nightlife. I love the boogie. That's what's really going on. I like the nightlife and I love the boogie, but I'm going to have to stop. Um, I need to have some more control under my... my I, I need more control in my life. I need a schedule. I need more rigorous discipline. And I need to concentrate more on what I want to do. This is what's leaving me. Page of Pentacles. The Earth in Earth. That's always reminded me. I've drawn this card before. It reminds me of, you know, someone looking into their own um, crystal ball. Look how he's dressed. He's dressed in a skirt. And what's that headdress he has on? Why am I thinking it's male? You think it's, you know, on? 
Everyone thinks it's a male. Doesn't when you look at it. Really? Can't tell. Anyway, I like this card. That's what's leaving me. Earth and Earth. That reminds me of the control again. And maybe I'm too grounded. Too left brain. This might happen. Hmm. I'm always trying to get over some some. I'm always trying to get over something. Meaning I'm always trying to let go. So I, I can pick what I want to let go. This will happen if I continue on my path. Six. Stop. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Stop. That's a stop sign card. Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to go right to eight. When is it going to happen? I want to know the time period. Let's see. Oh, my God. Soon. So this is going to happen soon. Um, this letting go of I'm going to be stopping. Wow. What am I really not telling everyone? Ace of Cups. How lonely single life can be. Yeah, I went there. How you like me now? Hopes and fears. World upside down. Nah. Mm, I hope not. I hope not. You know, it, it could be a fear. I'm not looking. I'm not thinking about that. My world being turned upside down. And I haven't had the whole world in my hands in a long time. A few years. I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm all right. Let's uh, wrap it up. Wrap this uh, thing up, see if we can get a final outcome. What do we have? Ah, my favorite. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. The wish card. Love it. Love his headdress, too. Very similar. Who has the coolest headdress? He has the coolest red socks. That's for sure. Anyway, I like this reading. Um, I don't have to be specific and, you know, spill my guts on this, but uh, it, I can really relate to this because I, I might be going away for a few days on a, not a vacation per se, but on a controlled environment. Like a Zazenkai. Like, but I'll get back to you on that. In the meantime, do some uh, Celtic Cross. Uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. I was also going to say, you know, people who don't read with um, reversals, I don't understand. I mean, sure, you can do a meditation reading or read with majors only even. I've done that. You know, there's major only decks. But, but to say I don't read with reversals, that doesn't impress me too much. I, I can understand, you know, with the um, Marseille deck, possibly, but any other deck, why wouldn't you read with reversals? Or why is this, you know, why would you limit yourself saying this is always upright, the second position, when if it's that way, it's reversed. If it's right, just, you know, remember that. Not hard. You get more choices, more um correspondences and more answers. Right. right. Okay, that's my story. I'm t sticking to it. I'll talk to you later. See you online. Bye.